Well, ahoy everyone. Thank you for joining us. My name is Cindy Call. I'm one of the sales managers for Virgin Voyages. And with me is our director of sales, Lindsay Wagner, and Rebecca Gonzer, uh, my, my colleague in crime, also with Virgin <laughs> Voyages. So what we have here is a collaboration of you, um, our potential sailors who were invited here by your travel advisor and your and our travel advisors, who we affectionately call our first mates. So we're going to kick off our webinar with a short video just to give you a taste of what's to come and what you're going to learn about um, set, setting sail the Virgin Way. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, Now we're voyaging. That's right. Now we're voyaging. Um, so we're going to tell you all about uh, sailing with Virgin Voyages and some of your experiences and things uh, that you're going to be experiencing on board. But before we do that, I like to toot our horn a little bit, if you will, and just like to brag a little bit that we are making waves and earning accolades throughout the entire cruise industry. So um, in 2023, we swept the board with the Cruise Critic Cruiser's Choice Awards. Those are voted on by the consumer. We won best overall cruise line, best cabins, best dining, best service, best value for the money. We even took home some editor's picks awards. We've taken home Condé Nast Traveler, Cosmopolitan, many of those you've heard about. And for the second consecutive year, we have taken home the top honor in Travel and Leisure's World's Best Awards. So we are so very proud and it's thanks to our first mates, your travel advisors who are getting you on our ships and our sailors who just love us so much so that they're raving about it. And it's our epic crew that is, is giving you those amazing experiences, bringing you back time and time again. So what sets us apart from other cruise lines and why might you want to sail with us? Well, first and foremost, we are exclusively adult. You are certainly welcome to let your inner child loose on board, but you must be 18 plus to sail with us. We have a very innovative food and, and, and wonderful uh, high quality cocktails and drinks. I even mentioned that we won, we're winning awards on our dining, but we have uh, not one of our restaurants and of our 20 plus eateries is a main, or a main dining room or we don't have any buffets. Rebecca's gonna tell you a little bit more about our restaurants and dining coming up. Inclusivity, Virgin Voyages welcomes sailors from all diverse backgrounds, be it your age range, your physical capabilities, your lifestyle preferences. We just want all sailors to come and be your true authentic selves, sailing on Virgin Voyages. And you know who's gonna get you there is our crew, our crew from their service and their hospitality. They, they keep delivering time and time again, whether it's from your cabin steward to your bartender, wait staff and our happenings cast, you are gonna love our amazing crew. We promise always included luxury, simple, transparent pricing with no hidden fees, no unwelcome surprises by the, at the end of your voyage. We include all of the dining at our 20 plus eateries, including our six specialty restaurants. Gratuities are included. Wi-Fi, we believe Wi-Fi is a hu basic human right. We're not gonna charge you for that. All of our onboard group um, fitness classes, shows and entertainment, and essential drinks, which include still and sparkling waters, non-pressed juices, sodas, teas, drip coffees, and what's not included, of course, is your alcoholic drinks, your specialty co or coffees like your handcrafted um, cappuccinos, lattes. We've got mocktails, milkshakes, boozy shakes. Those come with an extra cost, but what we have, uh, we've pulled our sailors to find out what was important to them in terms of 
inclusions, high quality, high value. And we found out that they, that they were turned off by the typical beverage packages of other cruise lines that are more restrictive. Either everybody in the cabin's got to purchase a package or nobody gets to. You're counting on your fingers. How many drinks do I got to drink in a day to get my money's worth from this drink package? So this is how we developed the bar tab. We just wanted it to be as simple as possible to sail with us. So with the bar tab, we have various increments, as you can see here, anywhere from a $200 bar tab all the way up to $1,000. And when you pre-purchase that bar tab, Virgin Voyages is going to kick in a bonus for you. So a $200 bar tab, you're going to get an extra $25 on us. $1,000 bar tab, you're getting 25% more with $250 extra bar tab. So this is going to give you that all-inclusive experience because you know that even your drinks are paid for in advance before you sail with us. And the best part about this is gratuities are already included. So you see it say a $10 drink on the menu, that's all that's coming off your, your bar tab or your account. So this helps concept helps us to keep our drinks reasonably priced. Beers on average cost between six to $8, cocktails are between 10 to 12, 42% of our wines are under $10 per glass. Now, I'm also going to show you a quick little video here. Hopefully, this one works for me. Just to give you an idea of how you go ahead and use that bar tab for some of the things on board. So we just wanted to give you a comparison. So in terms of everything that I've just mentioned that is included in your voyage fare as standard, when you compare Virgin Voyages, our fair and flexible fares, to other um, comparable, either contemporary premium cruise lines, who perhaps you're going to see maybe the pricing looks a little bit less on the front. But when you compare apples to apples, everything that these other cruise lines are going to charge additional for when you're on the ship, which you know that you're going to be using and purchasing, you can see here that we are significantly a better value overall. So we're not, like I mentioned, it's fair and flexible, simple, transparent pricing. You know what you're in for even before you step foot on the ship. I'm going to pass this off to Rebecca, and I was going to tell you a little bit about our sailors. Yes, ahoy, ahoy. I am excited to talk to you guys about who our sailors are. So um, as Cindy mentioned, we are 18 plus to sail with us. But that being said, the majority of our sailors are going to be between 35 and 65. Our average age is 49. Now you may see yourself here as the foodie, the wellness enthusiast, maybe you're the adventurer, maybe you're the life of the party, the socialite, or you may be a combination of one, two, or all of these. I'm probably about 75% foodie, 25% wellness enthusiast. So I'm going to start off by talking about my very favorite, the foodie. As Cindy mentioned, um, all of our dining is included on board. We have no buffets, no main dining hall, no assigned seating, uh, no forced formal wear. Um, so we've got these 22 plus eateries, including six specialty restaurants. Now those six specialty restaurants, there is no up charge to go to one of these amazing restaurants. I'm gonna quickly go through those. We have got the first Korean barbecue at sea, Gun Bay. We also have our ever popular Italian restaurant, Extra Virgin, way more than just pastas, but our pastas are amazing, made fresh every single day. And I highly recommend ending your meal there with the tableside affogato cart. Next up, we have Pink Agave. This is Elevated Mexican. Um, this restaurant won Travel Age West 2023 for best dining. Literally everything here is good. A wide variety of mezcal for the mezcal lover. And then at least once per voyage, we do have a fun pop-up event called Pink Agave After Dark, where we bring a DJ in, we move some of the tables out, and it's a quick and fun pop-up experience that we will have there. One of my very favorite restaurants, probably my favorite restaurant is Test Kitchen. This is, I like to call it, it's a gastronomical adventure. Um, this is your deconstructed molecular cuisine, half a uh, part kitchen, part cooking lab, 
um, you are going to be, you're going to sit down and receive a menu with six different ingredients. This is a six course plated uh, experience that you'll have here at the test kitchen. Then we have Razzle Dazzle. This is our vegan vegetarian forward restaurant, but don't worry. We have lots of non-vegetarian options here. In fact, this is the best place to get bacon on board. Uh, this restaurant is open for both brunch and for dinner. And likewise, The Wake, our elegant steak and seafood restaurant is also open for brunch and for dinner. And my insider's tip here is if you don't have to rush off the ship on your disembarkation day, you can actually book yourself into brunch at either one of these restaurants on your disembarkation day. Again, all included, no upcharges for these. You do have to make a reservation for these six restaurants, which open up at 45 days in advance. In addition to that, so that's just six of the restaurants that we have on board. We have got 22 eateries in total, including those six specialty restaurants. I'm just going to highlight some of the faves here. We have the Dock and the Dock House giving you your Mediterranean Meze style um, light bites. We also have the Pizza Place, which is my number two favorite place on board, open until 2 a.m. with fresh personal pizzas. We have the Sun Club Cafe located at the top of the ship for fresh poke bowls, uh, wellness elixirs. Then in total contrast to that, we have the Social Club, which is where you can get your true junk food, all kinds of different hot dogs, popcorn, pretzels, boozy milkshakes. Uh, you've got it. They even have a little a candy section where you can make your own pick and mix bag. Grounds Club, I go there pretty much every single morning to get my latte. We've got your handcrafted um, coffee and tea drinks, your latte, your matcha, your cappuccinos, all kinds of awesome beverages as well as fresh pastries. And then last but certainly not least, our famous ice cream parlor, Lick Me Till Ice Cream with fresh rotating flavors on the daily. So let's get a taste of what you can expect from our dining experience here at Virgin Voyages with this quick video. Maybe. guys I think I just gained three pounds watching that I am so excited to eat all of the amazing food that we have on board um so after all that amazing dining you've got to know where to go uh to maybe work some of that off so remember we are great for the wellness lovers as well. Uh, we did just win Travel Age West 2024 Best Onboard Wellness Program. So I'm going to show you in the next few slides here a little bit about how we won that, why we have got one of the best onboard wellness programs. Richard Branson, just to start off, he is a huge fitness junkie. So we have got some of the best um, fitness classes and onboard fitness equipment um, that you can find. So we've got the athletic club. This is where we've got some boxing rings, some strength gymnastics installations. It's really like going to a 1920s New York style sports club. Then we have the perch located on the 17th deck. This is where we'll have our sunrise yoga and meditation classes. We also have our, oops, skipped a slide there. Hang on a second, our B Complex Studio. So these are four indoor studios. Remember all of our group fitness classes are included in the price of the voyage. So we've got classes here from yoga to hit and strength training, um, spin and cardio. So you can attend all of those classes, but if you prefer to kind of do your own workout, when there's not a class in session, you can go to these four indoor studios as well. Then we've got the runway, uh, or I like to call it the walkway. Uh, this is our standalone running track. It's also a great spot to just get up early in the morning, grab your tea or coffee, walk around, do a few laps. It is the prime spot to go as we are pulling into port, especially on those amazing Mediterranean sailings. After all that working out, you need to know where to go to pamper yourself. So we've got the tune-up where you can get manis and petties with a view. We have dry dock, our beauty bar. 
Stubble and Groom, which is our barber shop oasis, and then of course our award-winning Redemption Spa. So let's, we also have our well-being pool. And then uh, one of my favorite places on board is Squid Ink. So this is the first tattoo parlor at sea where you can get a vegan ink tattoo from one of our celebrity and visiting tattoo artists. We do have an Instagram page that you can visit. So if you are on a cruise upcoming or after you make this booking in the next seven days, uh, you can go to that Instagram page and take a look and see who is going to be uh, visiting as a resident uh, visitor tattoo artist. So let's take a moment of Zen in this presentation and watch our wellness video. guys i'm passing it over to Lindsay to talk about the adventure lovers awesome thanks rebecca i love that video i always feel just so like go with the flow zen chill uh exactly. after that so um anyways yes yeah, so now i'm here to talk to you about uh all of the amazing different shore excursions or as we like to call them here at virgin voyages shore things uh for those adventure seekers that love that off the beaten path type of experience and you know when we were creating virgin voyages for us you know it was very important to curate these you know one of a kind unique uh standout experiences uh in all of our ports of call and i think our shore things team has done a fantastic job in doing that and in creating our shore things program they wanted to I create these different categories or buckets that all of these uh, shore things can exist within. So we've got our relaxing, which probably uh, would be something like the video that you just saw or that very kind of chill Zen uh, type of activity off the ship, energetic, cultured, uh, daring once or, you know, heart pumping adrenaline or heart pounding adrenaline pumping good time. Uh, I'm thinking about that zip line excursion that we've got in Roatan, Honduras the once in a lifetime opportunities. We also have Richard's shortlist, which are specially curated shore excursions by Richard Branson himself. If he were to go into any of these ports of call, this is the first thing he would do. Um, and last but not least, sustainable. One of the things that Virgin Voyages prides ourself on is really our belief in sustainability and leaving the earth better than how we found it. So um, we have several excursions in many of our different ports of call that really benefit the community that we sail to uh, and working with those local partners and developing a unique once in a lifetime type of excursion for you, our, our sailor. So just to give you an example of some different uh, excursions that we have in our ports of call, um, I am a huge fan of Key West. I love our four night fire and sunset soiree itinerary. And so my favorite uh, excursion here is our Key West rum and cigar tasting tour because you combine uh, some of my favorite things, Key West and rum, and you get to have a nice little foot tour uh, of Key West uh, with this excursion. Next up, we've got Cos or, uh, um, Cosimo Coral Reef Restoration. So going back to that sustainability aspect, this excursion would definitely fall within those or within that, uh, that bucket. Um, now for our San Juan departures and stops, we have a the culture, the cocktails, and the culinary delights, where it's basically a walking tour through the streets of San Juan and and Bimini, which Bimini is really our our hallmark stop on all of our Miami departures. Uh, we have one of our top rated excursions out of all of our different ports and destinations, and it is the Sapona Shipwreck and Shark Snorkeling Tour. Um, so say that five times fast, but you will see me nowhere near this excursion. I will gladly be waving from the beach, um, as you all are snorkeling with sharks, but that's all on you. But we have this amazing opportunity to kind of split your day within, uh, you know, the beach club at Bimini, maybe coupling that with, uh, uh snorkeling with sharks. Um, and for our Mediterranean and Barcelona departures, 
uh, we have uh, really some unique uh, stops. And one of them you don't see here on your screen, but our sailings that go out of Barcelona, we offer a 24 hour overnight in Ibiza, Spain. And one of our excursions that you can purchase through Virgin Voyages is the Ushuaia experience, which uh, gives you basically door to door round trip transfer from the ship to the Ushuaia Beach Club um, and access to see world famous DJs, um, you get to check that off your bucket list. And the great part about it is that you get to walk straight back onto a bus with the transfer that takes you right back to the ship. Because I can tell you once that performance ends, um, good luck trying to find a taxi or an Uber. So it's really nice to know that you've got your transfers uh, waiting for you. Uh, but out of Athens, Greece, uh, on our Adriatic Sea and Greek Gems itinerary and Dubrovnik, we have for all of you Game of Thrones fans out there from Dubrovnik to King's Landing, where you can actually see some of the filming locations. And then uh, in our Greek Island Glow itinerary, we actually have a 36 hour overnight in Mykonos. We arrive at Friday around 9 a.m. and do not leave until Saturday at 2 p.m. Um, and when we talk about doing those, uh, you know, those local excursions and partnering with those local partners uh, in Mykonos, we have a cooking demo and local wine in a Maconian uh, home. Uh, and I know that Rebecca and Cindy, I know I've called on you a couple of times about this, but I just love hearing about it because I love Greek food and you guys just had an amazing experience uh, in this home in Mykonos, right? Rebecca, did you want to say something? Yes, I was just going to say yes. It was an absolutely amazing experience. Um, as Cindy usually says, we it wasn't something that I would have ordinarily chosen to do, um, but it was such a neat experience. We went to this local woman's home, beautiful home. We learned a lot about the history um, of Mykonos, and then we learned hands-on uh, how to make some of the most popular uh, Greek dishes. And Cindy, I think you've made that um, spinach pie at home, right? How did it go? I did, and I wish I was back in Mykonos and, <laughs> because I, I didn't do it justice. But as Rebecca said, this was a great experience. I highly recommend doing an excursion or short thing that dives you into the local cu culture and the people, because um, as Rebecca said, this isn't something I would have necessarily chosen for myself. And I'm so glad I did because now I'm looking for those kinds of experiences when I'm traveling. Yeah, we have a very, uh, a very robust uh, Shore Things website. So if that really is the tipping point for you to possibly book with Virgin Voyages, just you want to know what you're going to do in these ports of call, please reach out to the travel professional that invited you tonight. They can send you the link for more information um, on that excursion. But um, you're not going to be bored when you get off the ship, uh, no matter where we sail. And uh, to take you back to our Barcelona departures, we have a seven night uh, Irresistible Med in Rome sailing, as well as a seven night French days and Ibiza nights. Uh, but in Mallorca, you have the opportunity to basically tour uh, residences of royalty um, and one that I cannot wait to check out. I'm crossing my fingers and toes that I'm going to be able to make this uh, itinerary either this year or next year. But in Cannes, you have the opportunity to drive in a classic car and actually drive on the course of the famous Monte Carlo Grand Prix uh, race site, which uh, is definitely a bucket list um, activity. So Stay tuned on that. I will definitely, uh, definitely report back. But those are our shore excursions. And now once you've had a full day in port, you're going to get back onto the ship. And guess what? The nightlife is going to kick off. So for those sailors on the call that you are the socialite, you find the party or the party finds you. Um, we have so many different um, activations and experiences on board that uh, you will fit right in. But the one that everybody really looks forward to, and I will say is kind of a a sleeper cell type of activity that you didn't really hear about much when we first launched, but slowly but surely it's really picked up momentum and has gotten a lot of notoriety of just how fun it becomes. But on the first night of your sailing, we have what's called the PJ party. Um, it is the best party underneath the, the stars. And actually, I just now realized my virtual background that I am talking to you from right now is actually where it takes place. So you can see how the runway actually lights up at night in this whole area right here we've got a dj we've got milk and cookies um it ends up turning into a karaoke um uh, party but uh yeah it goes until the wee hours of the night so pack your pjs because we have the most epic pj party and the second or probably the most popular uh party when you sail with us is scarlet nights 
Um, I won't give out too many details on Scarlet Knight, but what I will say is that the entire ship activates red. Um, if you can't sell, we here at Virgin Voyages, we love the color red, but we have dedicated an entire night to it where everybody wears red. There is no outfit too demure or too over the top. If it's red, wear it. Um, it really starts in the roundabout there on deck seven and deck six uh, with a wedding. And that's all I'll say. You'll then make your way up to the pool deck up on the 15th deck where we'll have a vocal performance, a dance party. Um, and really it is no true Scarlet Night unless you end up in the pool. And that's all I'll say on that. And then you'll make your way back down to the Manor nightclub, which as you can see from this photo is that iconic hallway that everybody raves about. If you sail with Virgin Voyages, you have to make sure to get a picture in the Manor uh, just because that's when you know you've sailed uh, Virgin Voyages and you cannot take a bad photo here in, uh, in the Manor. But our nightclub, I think is the best nightclub at sea. It gives Vegas a run for its money for our dance party, um, our dinner theater performances uh, with that. And one of the, I think the best feature on any cruise ship out there is our Shake for Champagne experience. We here at Virgin Voyages, we love champagne. It runs uh, in our bloodstream, it's in our DNA. And we also believe that you should be nowhere on the ship where you can't access champagne. You should always, you know, it should always be within an arm's reach. So what you can do is you take your phone, which has the Virgin Voyages app and you shake it. And when you shake it, you are gonna see little champagne bubbles appear and a button that pops up that says, push me. And when you confirm that you want it, a chilled bottle of Moet and Chandon champagne will be delivered to your exact location. Uh, we did it. We were in the pool in the Caribbean. Uh, we shook for champagne. And within 15 minutes, one of our lovely crew members rounded the corner with a red champagne bucket, popped a bottle, poured a couple of glasses, and there you have it. There's no better way to, uh, to celebrate your vacation. So when you sail with Virgin, we also want to make sure that you feel prepared and ready to go and you have not missed any item to uh, um, partake in any of our parties on board. So we actually have a packing list that lives in our entertainment guide. So when we get you booked on one of our voyages, uh, reach out to your travel professional. They will be sure to send you that entertainment guide that shows you everything you need in order to not have any sort of FOMO uh, when you sail on any of our lady ships. And now to cap things off with our entertainment, I've got a quick little video to uh, show off. So not only are you going to be not bored when you get off the ship and our ports of call, but our entertainment and parties um, are yeah something not to be missed. And one hot tip, I think you might have seen it in that video. It looked like human disco balls. That is Persephone, which takes place on Resilient Lady. I think it, it rivals any Vegas show out there and it is included in your voyage fair. So make sure to check that show out if, uh, if you sail on Resilient. So now I'm going to throw it over to, I believe, Cindy for our itineraries. There we go. Now I have the controls and I've unmuted myself. <laughs> so let me introduce you to our lady ships. We have three ships currently sailing right now. They're all sister ships. So once you know the layout of one, you're going to be able to navigate through all the others. They used to hold just over 2,700 sailors, 1,150 onboard crew, 1,408 cabins and suites. The vast majority of our cabins are our sea terrace cabin with the balcony and our signature red hammock. Um, I'm not going to go ever through every itinerary of where we sail to, but Scarlet Lady, her home port is Miami in the typically, but this summer she's spending her summers in the Med out of Barcelona. 
And then we also have Valiant Lady who is round trip right now doing the, the Miami to our Caribbean itineraries, as well as a few itineraries out of San Juan, Puerto Rico as well. Resilient Lady, her home port is Athens where Lindsay had mentioned we have a, a couple of beautiful Greek itineraries. I'm going to highlight those for you. And she's got a few sailings out of San Juan, Puerto Rico that she'll be doing in the winter months. And then also she's got a few unique itineraries out of Portsmouth, the UK, calling on um, Scotland, Ireland, Norway, Iceland. So some really great destinations there, unique itineraries that we're just uh, haven't done before. And then Brilliant Lady, she's going to be joining our fleet very soon in September of 2025. So we just wanted to highlight a few of our most popular itineraries. I'm not going through every one day by day, but the most popular shortest itinerary for night sailing is Fire and Sunset, Sunset Soirees out of Miami. Calling on Key West, you got a day at sea and then the Beach Club at Bimini. Riviera Maya, that's another really popular one. You got two days of sailing there, then calling on Cozumel and our Beach Club. We also have, if, if you're looking for more of that, um, Dominican vibe, we've got Dominican Days, again, out of Miami. Western Caribbean Charm, that's a very popular. If you're looking for a longer itinerary, we got seven nights and then the nine nights with the Eastern Caribbean Antilles as well. And these, those were all out of Miami. So <laughs> the majority of our Caribbean itineraries, mostly the Western, you did see the Eastern Caribbean Antilles, also, they call on the Beach Club at Bimini. So for those of you who are craving a day at an amazing pool and beach, the Beach Club at Bimini is it. There is two massive pools just separated by this walkway that leads you right to this beautiful, pristine beach. Plenty of loungers, both beach and poolside. The food is included at the Beach Club as well. You can even use your bar tab to buy purchase drinks at the um, bars on the Beach Club as well. So let's take a tour of the Beach Club at Bimini. Maybe you'd rather spend your summers in the Med as well and out of Athens. This is our resilient lady. Again, we've got Corfu, Dubrovnik, and more. The Greek Island Glow, which Rebecca and I also were blessed to be able to do last June. Um, and you're going to notice as I'm going through these slides, these icons that show the little crescent moon. That means those are the late night stays um on the at the destination and then even with the little sleeper mask that's the overnight we're talking about so as Lindsay mentioned i i took note when we were doing the greek island glow sailing that while other cruise lines were sailing away with their sailors at six o'clock at night our sailors were just getting off of the ship and going to those seaside cafes to watch the beautiful sunsets or going to the nightclub to to just dance the night away and spend all all evening and morning, likely at our at the beach at the beach club. So, a lot of times these destinations, the nightlife is really what is all about that experience. So we do want our sailors to spend extra time and enjoy the culture and in that destination. And then we also have Art of Barcelona. Two of the most popular is. French days in Ibiza nights out of Barcelona. Again, you've got the late night stays, overnight in Ibiza. That's important. The Irresistible Med in Rome. So the Ir Irresistible Med has always been a very popular itinerary. And we've even added Rome as a court of call here. So um, definitely check that out. This might be one of your bucket list once in a lifetime opportunities. And let's just take another little tour and kind of see what it's like to travel with us to the Med. My OK, 
Okay, and then when Brilliant Lady, our fourth ship, comes into deployment, we are going to be doing some California Dreamin' when she makes her way over to L.A. So we've got some sailings now from the West Coast taking you to more of the Mexican Riviera, going to Cabo San Lucas, Mazatlan, Puerto, Vall Puerto Vallarta, uh, and so much more. Even we've got it from Cali to Canada, L.A., to, all the way to Vancouver, British Columbus. Columbia. So these are just a sample of our itineraries. And if you want to learn more about where we sail to, any destinations, itineraries that might interest you, be sure to reach out to your travel advisor and they can send you their link to lead you to um, our website so that you can browse through all the itineraries. Passing it off to Re Rebecca. Yes. All right. Just in time for summer ween, uh, we have announced our Halloween voyages for 2024. So if you are as excited about Halloween as I am, then you are going to love these voyages. We have three different itineraries where we will have costume contests, of course, themed food and drinks, some amazing decor for all of your Instagram photos, some spooky live bands, plus more. So let's take a look at these three Halloween itineraries. We have a Scarlet Fright Voyage, 10 nights on Scarlet Lady uh, from October 24th until November 3rd. So this is going to be celebrating Halloween in the Med. So you're going to start in Athens to Barcelona. Everywhere you see that crescent moon is going to be a late night stay. So Mykonos, Catania in Sicily, Rome, as well as La Spezia in Italy. Um, you are going to have late nights here. So you could be in port anywhere from seven to nine o'clock in the evening. Next up, if you're looking for a longer voyage, we have our transatlantic tricks and treats, 14 nights on Resilient Lady. Somebody had asked earlier about uh, the show that Lindsay was talking about, Persephone, that is on Resilient Lady. So this is going to be October 27th to November 10th, 2024. Um, Barcelona to Miami. So you've got two late night stays there, Casablanca in Morocco, and then Gran Canaria, Las Palmas, Spain. And then last but certainly not least, and a little bit closer to home, we have our tried and true Caribbean breeze and haunted seas. So this is on our shortest itinerary, uh, just four nights going to Key West and the Beach Club at Bimini. And this specialty sailing will be departing on October 16th. So definitely, uh, if you are a Halloween fan and you'd like to get on one of those three voyages, please reach out to your travel professional, AKA first mate. Now, for all the cruisers out there who have loyalty on another cruise line, we too have a loyalty program. Your first mate can actually help you status match with your loyalty program and score you blue extras. These are normally reserved for our sailors on their third and fourth sailing. But if you already have status and you are booking this through your travel professional, they can help you status match this and you are going to get those extras, which are going to give you one specialty coffee credit per day, a dedicated sailor services support person on board, an exclusive cocktail event, and a huge bag of laundry. You can pretty much probably fit most of your laundry in that giant laundry bag. So do reach out to your first mate for that. All right, our red hot offers. I'm bringing us home. So right now we have our swing into summer savings. So you can save 70% off the second sailor on all voyages, plus free balcony upgrades on most of our sailings through 2026. To find out which sailings and to learn more about this promotion, please reach out to your travel professional who invited you here tonight. And then as a very special thank you for being here tonight, we do have an exclusive Sailor Loot offer. This is only when you book through the travel professional who invited you here tonight. So you cannot get this direct. You have got to book this with your travel professional, AKA first mate who invited you here tonight, where you can get up to $200 of Sailor Loot per cabin for any new bookings that are made tonight through July 30th. So if you are booking a Sea View or Insider, you're going to get $50 of Sailor Loot per cabin. If you are booking one of our Sea Terraces, you'll get $100 of Sailor Loot per cabin. And if you decide to go the Rockstar lifestyle and book one of our suites, you will get $200 
of Sailor Lou per cabin. But remember, you can only book this through your first mate. Terms and conditions apply, which you can see there at the bottom, as well as learn more about from your first mate. So thank you so much, everybody who made it all the way through, who came out tonight uh, to support uh, your travel advisor and all those first mates that are here uh, supporting us as well. Um, we hope to see you around the ship. So again, please reach out to your first mate. You've got until July 30th to get that booking in to avail our special offer. Thanks guys. Awesome. Thanks everybody. Have a great night. Bye.